How you guys doing? I mean, this is Christopher Walter. Um, about four or five months ago, I started my YouTube, and um, I had two near-death experiences, both on 11-11, once in 2015, another time in 2018. And over the year, over the years, uh, I know I started to notice the synchronicity. Uh, I started to understand angel numbers. Um, uh, through prayer, meditation, hydration, exercise, uh, music, and obviously I like to make artwork, uh, and I like to tell a story. And as I learn things, uh, for example, I have the flower of life here. Um, so I, I wrote, a, when I first started this, everything that I wanted to make sure that I incorporated, because when I had my near-death experience, it was just like the same movie, she, I was floating up in a, and I was met by a, a loved one, uh, a woman that I loved, and, and she showed me what my life was to be. And she showed me all this beautiful artwork, and I hadn't painted in years, and, but I've always been an artist. Um, and um, I saw the color blue. It was like blue, this color was radiating, so I, it was, it's always been a favorite color of mine. Um, it always made me feel a safety, a, a, fel a feeling of home. Um, in fact, a lot of my family members, we all like this particular, like the, the color aqua, okay? So, I would see the synchronicities and I would get these emotions. I, I did, my last video was on 11.11 and it was 11 things that um, I noticed that confirmed my angels are with me and that I'm safe. Uh, I wrote it down, 11 signs your angels are with you. First one's feathers, second one's numbers, third one's butterflies, sometimes ladybugs, smells that resonate, um, music, voices, rainbow, even temperature change. Uh, I, would, I, would, I could notice something, it would maybe trigger a memory of something that I filed. Um, and over the last few years, between uh, this last year uh, and this whole situation and and all the hardships, and, and I knew that if I had the opportunity to survive, and both times I was sober when I decided to relapse, and I overdosed, and it was a little over a year, I was clean both times, and in two different states, on the same day, I'm just being haggled and pressured and pressured and pressured, um, and the first one was free. And I, I, I said, no, no, no. And sure enough, it was too much. And um, both times, in two different places, randomly, a family member decided to come pick me up, who would, would normally never pick me up. So it was a freakish situation. Um, and moreover, um, my mother and I sometimes... Um, you know, we, we almost can communicate, like, without talking. Uh, you know, she says, we have ESPN. I, I said, Mom, it's called ESP. And, um, and you see, uh, I got it right here. This is from the sacred text, right? This is the ether double, the continuity of consciousness. Well, right now is what we call the Great Awakening. And what would make anything different is, um, I think people are going to start to pay attention and old paradigms and systems that were in place that no longer will serve you uh, or um, they just don't, they won't apply anymore. Um, like for an example, in the movie The Matrix, right? And I wrote these notes down just, just as helpful reminders. Um, the first one in, 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 in the unseen world was dream. The second one was destruction because then you start to notice things that aren't right. Then the third thing is reconstruction. The fourth thing is self-knowledge. The fifth thing is self-doubt, which, you know, you're not sure of yourself. And the sixth thing is love, because there's nothing that you can't do when love's involved. Um, so, between my angel numbers and the synchronicities, uh, I wrote down all the things that I was going to write on my YouTube channel. And if you watch some of my channels before, my videos before this, you'll see where they all build up. 
Um, today's going to be a lot of information. I'm going to throw it at you really fast so you can always come back and take a look. Um, um, so my YouTube channel is going to be, it's going to have angel numbers. It was going to have synchronicity. Uh, it was going to have videos to where I can explain and help people raise their vibration because I personally believe that the more po the, the positive state of mind that you, that you have and the good energy that you give off and your vibration is what builds your immune system. Uh, they have a thing, it's called epigenetics, which is the new science. Um, uh, people like um, Greg Braden, who believe in heart and brain connection, which he calls the divine matrix. Um, you know, uh, Carl, uh, Carl Jung, uh, with the synchronicity, and uh, uh, people talk about it being breadcrumbs from the universe. <laughs> Yeah, I can tell you. Uh, I also have a video that I'm going to have on my face, on my YouTube channel. If you just look it up, it, it'll say the Facebook. It'll be of a day that I was telling somebody about the strength card, the 11 card on Terra, which is August 11th. And I said that the dove was flying in, in infinite eights. And that day I walked home from from the art gallery I worked at and I didn't take the five dollars that was in my Bible and it was in the Bible and it said uh, Revelations and it was on page 444 so as I walked home these doves were flying around in infinite eights and I'm going to pull out my phone I just catch the tail end of it but I got it and they land at house 4440 and one white dove. Not to mention the 27 times that I had recorded an angel number of 111, 222, uh, 111, uh, 111, and 1111 is big for me, um, where a butterfly, I just literally put my camera on and just hit record and then would watch a butterfly out of nowhere just come onto the scene. And usually what I would do is I would try to resonate and think of love because when I flatlined, the last thing I saw was a woman that I loved. And I believe that the memories that were going through my mind was just enough to trigger my heart to beat again. And I, I, I truly believe that um, I think of this woman all the time and, and I learned a lot of things. I, I think I even learned how to be a better man because of her. And you see that picture of the bodybuilder, right? That's me. Uh, once upon a time. Um, and this lady helped me. But we're going to get into this real quick. Let me adjust this camera, okay? Get a little closer. I'm going to start bringing things to you so you can see. Okay. Um, what I have is the Da Vinci with the tree of life, right? So I knew that I also wanted to write about moon cycles and chakras and the color blue because the, I noticed the color blue around me as I was ascending. And after my after this had happened for months and even over the year, uh, I would walk into a room and I would notice an aqua color blue or maybe even, as, even to as dark as an indigo blue. And I would feel a, a very sen very sensitive, uh, very, a, a feeling of an imp like an empath would feel, empathic. Uh, uh, and I can say that this emotion, it made me feel like I was like... Like I was being divinely guided and protected. I started to write down more in my journal. And the reason why I realized that I had died both times is because as a trainer and a coach, I would use a journal. And I would write down how I felt and what I ate and how much and, and what was going on with me so I can improve not only my lift, but I can actually just get myself better state of mind and motivate. Well, I said to myself, okay, well... I started to notice the moon. Now I thought, I thought that that was a joke. Like people would say, oh, uh, like a werewolf or something, you know? But then I thought to myself, well, it really doesn't have to be a joke considering if the tide changes and our body's made of so much water, 
why wouldn't it affect us? And if some of us are dual diagnosed where we're uh, chemically dependent or some of us have addictive behaviors, like I suffer from the disease of addiction and I do different things now to see, keep me sober and ensure the safety of my life and the people that I love. So I learned my moon cycles, right? And I would continue to use my journal. So what I'm going to do, right, is I'm going to explain this real quick. Okay, let me tighten this up. Okay, what we have, oh, what we have is, the first one is, you see that? That is the uh, fruit of life. You see how it has six points, the 360 degrees, six divided into 360 is 60 degrees. So for any one of these platonic solids, 369 Nikolai Teslas, I got it right here. Because I wrote it down. Okay, now this is what we call the Metatron Cube. Which you would need the Fruit of Life. You see how the six points right there? Uh, that you, you can do the Flower of Life, but it would, you'd have to do a lot more racing. And you see right next to it is your Advanced Vortex Math, which would be your Taurus field. Your Taurus Math. Okay? So I knew that if I keep everything within 30, 60, and 90 degrees... I can align and I can draw it much faster so I can keep everything going in the same direction. Let me just disconnect this. Okay. All right. So uh, I need to learn. I needed to learn uh, the astrology. And then as I did, I learned the different houses. And I can see where it would cube and square. But that's neither here nor there. What we're going to do today is we're going to talk about this flower life. Okay. This is your chakras. You see the Da Vinci is a true man. Now, I'm not Jewish. I was brought up Roman Catholic. In fact, I was told that chakras are bad and, and stay away from the tree of life. And um, the Jewish mysticism is bad. And, I still don't even know what they're talking about. I just know that I've been a trainer for a long time, and I know that the electromagnetic field in your body uh, that runs along your vertebrae and your spine, uh, we have right here, which is really cool that I found that on page 111. Okay, there's 33 vertebrae. In my opinion, that looks like an antenna. So if we are divinely in a matrix, uh, our spine is the, the antenna. And uh, our brain is the computer, and the top of the part of the brain is the RAM. And then I start, I can go f forever. Uh, but I put the butterflies into this picture. I did this for enlightenment. Uh, I wasn't really doing that. I added that so you could see. So now you have your sea of life. You have your egg of life. There's your fruit of life. There's your flower of life. This is even your DNA. Again, there's your tree. Okay? The five platonic solids. So as I went through this, you put all my notes together so I'll make it nice and neat for you. Okay? There's your Metatron Tesla. Now, for the Metatron, in order for you to do the Merkaba, right? Which is, I think, like a three dimensional star, David. Um, you would have to still start with this star. Right, and then you would erase the extra circles and then fill in along the lines and dimension them out. Okay, so now you have the tetrahedron, which is four sides. Now, I want you to pay attention to these numbers, okay? Four times 180 is 72. Seven plus two is nine. There's your Tesla's nine, okay? Now, in the cube, only one with square face. Now 6 times 360 degrees is 2160. Now 2 plus 1 plus 6 plus 0 is, is 9. There's your Tesla Vortex Math 369. Okay? I'm showing you how it's done. Okay? So now we got these two platonic solids. I just purchased this two days ago. I had never seen one in the store. And I made a little decoration, and I also made people use these as crystal boards. 
um, kind of like New Age, they believe that uh, the, um, the holistic healing that could be done through crystals, I, I believe even the, the even if you believe, uh, the power of belief is probably the greatest thing. I mean, you, people get sugar pills and they, if they just believe it works it, and they can heal themselves. So it's just the silliness of it. Uh, but there are not a, a lot of natural holistic medicines out there that none of us ever get to learn about. Because we live in a country to where they send you to the doctor and they give you a some kind of medication that's man-made that puts chemicals that you have no business putting in your body. So that's neither here nor there. So let me go. So you have these these two platonic solids. Now I'm going to go into the third one, right, which is this one. And I'm sorry, that's this is 12 faces of 5 times 108 degrees, which is 540. Now 5... 5 plus 4 is 9. You see it? Okay. Now the next one. This is your air sign. 8 sides, 180. 8 times 180 is 144. You're going to see that number quite a bit. So keep paying attention. I'm going to break it down for you. Uh, 1 plus 4 plus 4 plus 0 equals 9. Haha. <laughs> All right, now, here is your isocohedron, uh, uh, right? So this is 20 parts, 20 triangles that make this. So you have 20 sides, which stands for the symbol of water, okay? So 20 times 180 equals 3,600. Watch this. 3 plus 6 equals 9. Okay, now I'm showing you this because you see these fire cones, you have a 60, a 90, and the 108. The reason why I'm showing you this 108, okay, because it's still out, it's a little out there. The number 108 AG in the periodic table is silver, and Silver is associated with the moon, okay? So now we have astrology. We have the moon, okay? And even Da Vinci's Vitruvian Man, which is actually 14 parts of a golden ratio that makes up the whole thing, uh, which in turn relates to the 14 phases of the waxing moon and 14 phases of the waiting room moon. And from his navel, sorry, from his navel to the box here is the actual dimension of the pyramid. Now watch this. Put a little tape over here. Anyway, so right around where his head is, one fourth of this circle is the moon. Okay. So now you have the moon and the pyramid squared. Now here's where I'm going to get make things interesting. So now you you just had me explain all your plate. Like that. I put them all together. Okay, I'm gonna put them out of sight. I explain the tree of life. I explain the DNA, the seed, the egg, the actual chakras, and the fruit that makes allows you to make the Metatron and the Merkaba. Okay, let's put them all out of the way. All right. Let's get real. Let's get really interesting. Okay, I hope you can see this, right? Okay, remember these numbers: one, two, nine, six hundred, forty-four, that hundred forty-four thousand. I think for hundred forty-four thousand light workers, eight six forty, which is the moon. Okay, and I told you these plyo cons for 60, 90, 108. That one away. One forty-four, twelve, ninety-six. Okay, remember that. Remember remember this, 4320. You'll see them on the bottom, and I break them down just like Tesla's math with 3 plus 6 is 9, 1 plus 7 plus 2 is 8, equals 18, 1 plus 8 is 9. You see? Um, one solar day is 24 hours. 24 hours times 60 minutes is 1,440. 1, when does that 144? 
So 1440 minutes times 60 seconds equals 8640. See that? That's popping up. That's that moon number again. Now watch this. Now that's 72. We told you, I told you to pay attention to 72 as well. 720 minutes times 60 equals 4320. That's that. So now you have your minutes, your, your seconds, your hours, okay? Your platonic solids, the five, which is five parts of a pentagon, right? Is five. Five times 108 is 540. Five plus four is nine, okay? Uh, the, 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 the triangle of four times 180 equals 720. Seven plus two is nine. Boom. You see it? Okay, there, remember I told you 108 is your silver associated with the moon. It's also associated with the feminine energy. So you have masculine energy and feminine energy. I don't really know much about this Merkaba stuff. I do know about chakras and energy systems because they run along the spinal column. I know that your ver your, each one of your vertebrae, there's a set of nerves that run through. And these nerves are responsible for certain movements and actions in your body so you need to know what's right now what i believe is you have these two in between so if you have one two three four right and there's seven chakras and you have the three in between i think that's where you balance out your right and left side hemisphere and when you can align okay you get full cognitive coherence you can be clairvoyant you can be clairaudient. You can come from the heart space and be understanding and, and empathic and, and compassionate. Because if you're not compassionate, you're not humane. And what kind of human are you? Um, who cares how smart you are? Who cares how talented you are? If you, if you have no compassion in your heart, then you're definitely doing something wrong. And, and again, if you're sick and you want to heal yourself, you will not heal yourself without vibrating in a state of love. Uh, I said those butterflies came out of nowhere, right? Well, I was breathing a specific way in order to stimulate co-creation. All right? So now, if Da Vinci's got this flower of life and it's found throughout the whole world, 100 AD in Turkey, 500 in India, 500 in Italy, 500 in Spain, 500 years ago, 600 years in Japan, all over the world, okay? Okay, there's your, fla there's your flower, there's your, there's your Metatron, there's the chakras like I showed you, all right? I put it all in there. Here's the Metatron. Now, the Metatron cube, inside the Metatron cube, you can find every sacred geometrical shape existing in the universe these three dimensional shapes appear throughout creation. They can be found hidden right in plain sight. Um, in all that is form, nature, from crystals to the human DNA, which as I showed you, they form a foundation of all physical matter known as platonic solids. Okay? These timeless geometrical codes Underline all things displaying the parallels between seemingly uh, despair, desperate patterns and those who open their eyes to see. Okay, when Tesla said, you want to understand the universe? Vibration, frequency, and sound. Okay, uh, now you have light code and you have between music and even just being out in the sunlight, uh, the source, energy, I, I call it energy source, the light, even the light from the moon uh, that changes the uh, tide. Uh, these change variable, variable chemicals in your body. So, we go a little further, okay? So, if this is the heart chakra, and imagine this being a donut, and this being his head, that first circle, right? And the energy just flows like this, which is what we call the torus field, okay? What's really neat about this, watch. Your heart, right? Your torso, your Torah, as in the first five books in the Bible, the Old Testament, 
associates with green. It also associates with 12 petals. That is the star of David. Reverse the tour. Now you have Rhoda, which means turn. Watch. Turn. Tornado. Talk. Turn. Torn. Torch. Tur tor torture. Terrible. Torrible. Turmoil. Turbine. Okay? Now, the lamb in the Bible and the lamp. Revelations 21 23. Okay. Now, here's your Tesla 369. Again. But watch this. This is pi. So you got a circle and then the rod. In the Hebrew Bible, when they say the rod, I believe that's your spinal column. Because if we were antennas and we were positively charged like batteries, our spine would be the antenna. So that means we're dialectic, we're magnetic, and we're electric. So in ancient times, they would say, all is atom, all is atom, a ten. Okay? So... A lot of our hermetic teachings that were put into the Bible, um, they were just they're just older. I mean, flower life is six thousand years old. It's written in the pyramid. Okay, you might find it in different places. Found it five hundred years ago in Italy. That doesn't mean the Vatican wrote it before the pyramid. <laughs> Use your head. And then you got these poles in the middle, right in the middle of the Vatican. It's the same Egyptian poles you got in Washington D.C. Use your head. Think about it. Watch this. With every breath, space, ether, chi, prana, ether, okay? Divine matrix, our connection through the energy. Everything is energy. Everything is just different forms of energy and how we interact. So... This is the portal, the zero point, still point. So with every breath of creation as a wave of cause and crystallization of effect. You see that? You see the chakras? Man is a microcosm of earth in the universe. In breath. Diaphragm is a muscle that regulates in and out the breathing. The gateway of the breathing, only the ten petal Solar plex, chakra, is a multiple of five. Phi. Two breaths equals ten. There are five origins in the prime digestive digestion of the fire. Phi, roll. Elements, Leo, right under the diaphragm, around the solar plex, chakra. Pentagrams, remember I said five points? Five plus five. House and nature's perfect fractal of pi. Okay, uh, here is pi. <laughs> Without pi, you would not be able to figure out the circumference. And now, again, this is the ratio of the earth, the moon, and the sun, and man's spiritual process as we ascend through all heavens Middle Earth, Lower Earth. As above, so below. Okay, so now, as somebody like myself, who's very, very empathic, a very sensitive person, um, and I've probably allowed more people to abuse me just because I would rather not have the conflict, or I always felt like I was hurting them, or I would overpower them, because I use, most of the time I'm pretty, I'm pretty smart, and uh, I'm definitely physically strong, so I have to be careful not hurt anybody because I want what I want and so sometimes I allow people to get away with murder and that's not right because then I'm not protecting myself either so again when I got to come back I wanted to live and I was paying attention to all these different things that I didn't notice before the colors the smells the finding feathers the dreams that I would write down, tell a family member, a friend, a mother, and witness them with witnesses, knowing that I'm not crazy. And then, watch this, remember, so now I want to know what these colors are, right? Well, 
as an overwhelmed empath carrying energy field with no defined aura, I become anxious, tired, puts the others, hypertension, self-doubt, lack, remember we're talking about the matrix? Lack of confidence, self-belief, moody, mind based on overthinking, okay? You see this current? The human body is positively charged like a battery. That's a Star of David, right? That looks like the Metatron. That looks like that, doesn't it? Hmm. B69, did you know that if you put these in a survey and you ran a uh, copper coil and the electric current through that, that you'd have an unbelievable energy source? <laughs> Believe it. Um, so now as an empowered, see that blue? See that? Strong and vibrant energy field with integrity. All systems and structures calm, flowing, and powerful. Energetic, vital, fills his or her own tank first. Sometimes I don't do that. I'm working on it. I'm not perfect. But um, I, try, I, try to, I just try to stay in a positive state of mind. And believe me, it was such a selfish thing. Because if I would have died, uh, my family loves me very much. And I'm very blessed. I really, 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 really devastated them. I had no idea how much my family really does love me. So uh, here's the color wheel again, right? Remember I was telling you that my mother and my niece, uh, we'd see this color blue, we resonate, that's our favorite, that aqua. That Taurus, that color, that means communication. So now let me take you over here. Okay, there's, there's your ether, your communication, which is your throat. Here's your third eye. Here's your crown, which I would say your divine connection to source. Uh, once you learn your planetary alignments and all that, you might have a half a chance. Here's your vertebrae, I told you about. Here is, uh, this is from the book of Ezekiel, right? Uh, I learned a lot about laws of attraction. Again, I died on 11-11. So, 1-11 and 11-11 are very, very profound manifestation numbers. Uh, they also stand for Earth. Now, I was born on Mother's Day, a.k.a. Earth Day, and I have a little brother who was born on the same day as me. So, let me explain something. Now, I was brought up Roman Catholic. I was not allowed to know anything about astrology. I wasn't allowed to know anything about chakras and all that stuff. But as a trainer, I was educated by lots of my friends that are doctors. And they, they explained to me the energy systems. Okay? The heart is, is so much more powerful than the brain. There's so much more electrical current in the heart than there is in the brain. Now watch this. So this is all Hebrew, right? I don't know Hebrew, right? It started to make sense to me, right? If, uh, this is the magician, right? So, if this is the hierophant, which is the Taurus, right? There's, that's me, the Taurus. And my birthday is the 10th, the 1 and the 0. The magician is 1, and the fool is a 0, okay? But obviously, in any way in life, you can't start off with something without starting off with nothing and then becoming something. And in the Bible... It says, the first will be last, and the last will be first. I think, okay, well, I know how to read terror. And then I realize this. 11, 22, 33 vertebrae. This is all this sacred geometry, these specific numbers, right? So I realize, okay, these 22 cards in Terra. 22 um, letters and numbers in the, uh, the Hebrew alphabet. And then I also realized that the last letter is mixed with the first letter. So if I had been the 10 and I became the full, I'll read it to you. Oh, and it perfectly applies. Now, Trump zero, which is the Trump times, 
go figure. The journey begins as a young man, appearing fresh and innocent and full of potential in all of his embark in his journey, looking skyward. He stands at the edge of a, pre a, a, a the end of the end of like a mountain. Okay, you see the the dog right there. He's got a little. He's got a little thing of clothing with him. Okay, um, so it's into the edge, and, and apparently unaware of this abyss at his feet, and his faithful dog barks to warn him of the danger, leaping into the unknown. Because the original adventure is independent and free-spirited of the fool, astrologers often associate with the planet Uranus, which this is this card is a young connection connect the fool with the hierarch of the divine child, the myth of the deity sending our infant to enlightened humankind. Watch this. Okay, so now you know your symbols, right? No. I made sure. I made sure I did. Because how am I going to understand that the planets go there and these Hebrew letters? And look, if the magician shows this symbol right here, which is the house and the household in, and I mean, okay. And this one is the Taurus, right? Which shows the nail or the hook are joined together. Well, I am the Taurus. I was born in the fifth month. And I've been the fool. And look, the first will be last and last will be first. The fool is the baby ox. The Taurus is the bull. Okay? You see how that works? Now let me read the... Now, let me read what the magician has learned as being a fool. The fool now learns to focus on his creative energy with the art. I'm an artist. I'm a coach. I write workouts and diets, but I'm an artist. So now, as the magician focuses on his creative energy... And to use his tools and instruments to manifest his desires. Astrologers associate logic, conscious awareness, objectability, uh, adaptability, and the industry of the magician with the planet Mercury. Jungian's link to the magician is the alchemical figure of Mercur Mercurius, in the world creating spirit. That's quite awesome. And he's also known as a little bit of a trickster. I'm sure because he's had been taken advantage of. And above his head, he holds the arch, he holds the wand up, and over his head is the figure eight. Okay? Now the higher fin. Okay? The trump of the fool learns about the traditional values of moral request. The Hierophant or Terra Pope, conservative, deliberate, traditional, a little unorthodox. He is a carrier of transmitted and ancient, ancient wisdom and religious teachings. And astrologers associate the Hierophant with the fixed sign Taurus, the bull. The youngins relate to the Terra Pope to be the persona or the mask that we wear in this social interaction. I started designing masks for this uh, little corona thing, but I, I'm going to show you some cool things. I, I, I'm so far. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it fast, but I'm, I'm going to make it so you understand. So now, there's your 22 cards with their meaning in each card. Gives you the Hebrew letter and its meaning, okay? Uh, the, the fool is the ox, the strength, the technician, right? Nail, hook, joined together. The hierophant, obviously, he's, he's either a carpenter or an artist because he uses his hands and he makes it fast. So, that's, that's that, okay? So... Again, I would say that the colors, so, so now I'm seeing these colors, and I noticed that, that that turquoise is right on the throat, which is the communication. 
Now, when I was ascending, I said I saw this woman I love, the color blue, and I saw beautiful art. I always knew I was supposed to be an artist. So the artwork was very emotional and touching for me. And I fought as I flatlined to, to come back to life. So I found a book one morning. And I went to college at the Art Institute. And it resonated. I looked at this picture. And I'm like, what does that mean? And I also had this one. You see this? That's the arm. Um, see that? I started to recognize that color blue, which means the now. You've heard of people talk about their children being indigos or star, child, star seeds or any of that. Um, whether you're uh, what they call an, uh, aqua or uh, a blue ray or a gold ray uh, or an orophim, which is a type of angel or basically what they call DNA activation in our Akasha records, which is every single one of my ancestors before me, there is a conscious awakening of a bunch of information that's stored in the DNA that can be opened up and released into the memory. So you would become, uh, you wouldn't just have intuition you would have cognitive abilities as I've written down dreams to witness them happen or cognitive abilities. And you can do all kinds of stuff like that. It's called remote viewing. And there's very few people that can remote view and there's a lot of people that are waking up to this conscious awareness. Uh, I believe it's when they say the second coming of Christ, I believe it's a Christ-like consciousness and what we can read from the Bible, or even I have a book that I use. It's for five. It's a God's prescription. Five divine ways to heal your body. It has a lot of scripture in it. But here, watch this. So you see this almond, right? And the Transfiguration of Christ, Apostle Masonic Monastery of the Saint Catherine, Mount Sinai, Egypt. The monastery of the St. Catherine of the foot of Mount Sinai, see a map of 154, and according to the Old Testament, okay, uh, God gave the Ten Commandments to Moses and associated desert. You see that? Okay, the 16th century has been used since. Original patron and monastery complex, Byzantine Emperor, Emperor Justinian. Now watch this. The Christian, okay, let me, let me just read it. Voice of God's Father held from the cloud, and the beloved Son hear him. The Masonic Transfiguration of Christ and Monastery based on the Mount Sinai. Christ represented the axis sur sur surrounded by Mandora almond shaped halo. I said the blue light. The blue light, which emphasized his Represent white robes, Moses and Elijah sym symmetrically flank Christ while the apostles below gesture with wondrous explanation of divinity of Christ and demonstrated a scene of spiritual emphasis. And you understand, right? So you see what this is, is as you ascend, you wake up. And that, that color blue. But that's not just it. I have dreams of my grandparents. And I see this. And this is what they call the family tree. It's called in timeline frequency scale. Now vibration, frequency, and sound. I don't see auras. I have friends that tell me they can see auras. Uh, do I have some gifts? I don't have them all. Um, uh, some have more than others. Um, but I can feel things. Uh, and I have a, a, just a very, very profound intuition. Um, and sometimes, if I'm lucky, I can dream something and, I, and I, I see it happen. But not all the time. Most of the time, it's just a very, very strong intuition because I've been around, I'm 42 years old, and pretty much know how things go and how they're going to end up. Watch this. Heart chakra. Okay, your spirit... Your overmind, your intuition, your universal. That's the star of David, right? 
Okay? That's nature's change to the, the divine. The inner and true nature. Vision will center. Inner mind, true mind, mind center, heart center, psychic being. So, okay. Look, the man, that's Star Wars, that's like some Star Wars thing. The blue light. I saw the blue light. Okay, I found the vertebrates on 111, right? I was going to do this video, I fell asleep. I fell asleep on a hard book. It's a child's book for astrology. I decide I'm just going to open up to 10, 110, and 111. Perfect. Watch this. So I opened it up. And I wanted to make sense. Of, and I saw the corona. Hmm. And it said the oval shaped feature. Hmm. It's interesting. And that's on 111. That ain't it. So I didn't just learn terror. I also learned of a lot of natural holistic herbs that people need to use to heal themselves or to keep their blood alkaline so cancer can't live in it. And again, as a coach and a trainer, and I've done a lot of bad things, but I've also done a lot of real good things. And you see this? This is the sunflower, right? Look at the name, the Corona Solis of Peru. It work. It helps with. It's aromatherapy oils and seeds used to treat respiratory conditions like bronchitis, uh, lung something, uh, uh, induced coughs, uh, colds, and also whipping coughs. Hmm. It's also said to build the immune system. That's a sunflower. It's called the corona. So we got an almond-shaped 